Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make gradients on Abyss Paint X. So, firstly, a good thing to do is make your area that you want the gradient in. You can use the whole canvas for this if you want, but I'm just going to be doing a little circle to show you. Now that you have your closed area, what you're going to want to do is go over here and tap the magic wand. And then click inside the circle. Then what you're going to do is open up a new layer. It doesn't matter if it's above or underneath that one there because we have the magic wand on now. And you can even erase the lines there because the magic wand will stay as you can see. Then you need to pick your colours for the gradient. I'm going to be going from a dark blue here to a light blue here. How to do that is to firstly grab an airbrush, I'll be using the trapezoid, and colour in your two separate ends first. Make sure that your airbrush is on 100% so that it does it nice. Here is my darkest end, and then here is my lightest end. Now I'm going to want to make a gradient to fuse these two, so I'll go from the darker one and then pick a only slightly less darker colour and I'll blend those two together and move it down a bit. Then I'll find a slightly less dark color again and move it down again and I'll keep doing that. Some parts don't look as right so what you're going to want to do there is just get an eyedropper, find a space between and just do a big stripe of that color. Some parts might not blend as smoothly which is why you just have to try over and over again. This is the first way of colouring it in, but I have another way that I personally prefer to do. The one that I prefer to do is firstly colouring it all in in your darkest colour, and then working your way down from there like this. And so I'll just continue going like that. In my opinion, this way blends out smoother and a lot nicer. And you can just make a better effect overall. Of course, that's only my preference, and whatever preference you prefer is yours, and that is completely valid. In my opinion, you should fiddle with it a bit until you're perfectly happy. I'm going to add a bit more darkness onto the top bit here, just to show that it's a wider change, and I'm going to blend by here more. If you're still having issues with blending the gradient, then a good thing to do would be to put your brush on low opacity and just try to space it out a bit further up. And then if it still doesn't look right to you, then just use the blur tool and blur a bunch until you're satisfied. And then once you're done, just go up to the magic wand and press this right here. And then you have your gradient. This works with any amount of space, of course, but I just used the circle and the magic wand to show you how I would personally do it. Make sure to stay safe, and thank you for watching. Bye!